Hey everyone, thanks for checking out another bonus episode of The New Marketing Show and catching us on Instagram, TV, YouTube, wherever you're getting this. So today I want to talk real quick about WordPress troubleshooting and the first three things that I do whenever a site isn't working properly or as I expect it to. So first things first, make sure everything is updated. So you want to make sure you're always running the latest version of WordPress. And if you're not running the latest version of WordPress, do a quick backup and then install it. Very easy, should be no problems. From there, if anything seems a little weird or seems a little off, what then what I do is I go ahead and I check my plugins. So I will go and disable all of the plugins and then I will go and enable them one by one in order that they're listed. That way I make sure that everything is updated and all the plugins, there's no conflict with one or the other. So you'll know as soon as you enable one, if you check the site and there's a problem, you understand that's the culprit and that's the one that you're having problems with. If you're having problems with it, you can check out some of their support documentation or from there what you can do is you can see if there's another simple plugin that you can do or use or you know see uh, if the plugin's even worth anything for the site if it, you're actually using the functionality. A lot of times when there's a plugin conflict, it ha typically happens with plugins you're not even using for your site which seems crazy, right? The third thing then I do is I check my themes. I make sure my themes are updated. I make sure everything is good there. And sometimes a theme will have a conflict. So if, the, if there's a theme conflict, what we do is we go ahead and we then start, we enable and activate uh, one of the default WordPress themes. I still use 2015 because I know it inside and out. And I'll know that if the functionality that I'm looking for and it, everything works well, then that's not the problem. So three, those are the three things that I do. That's how I troubleshoot WordPress sites. One, make sure WordPress is up to date and your all your themes, your plugins are all up to date. Two, disable and then re-enable and reactivate all your plugins one by one. Check the site in between. And third, make sure your themes are all updated and you can go ahead by doing that by, by deactivating one, activating one of the WordPress default ones and reactivating it. So, hey, thanks for watching. If for more content like this, you can get us at trinitywebmedia.com slash iTunes. Thanks.